This spring, I got to visit the Bear Rubin Observatory on a dusty mountaintop in Chile, home to one of the most ambitious astronomy projects on the planet. This place just opened in June of 2025, and it's going to change how astronomers study the universe. It hosts the largest digital camera ever built. The plan is to scan the entire southern sky every three to four nights for 10 years. In a span of about two weeks, it will take more data than the Hubble Space Telescope took in 25 years. In its first year, it will observe more objects than all previous telescopes combined. To do that, Rubin needs to move fast. It's going to take a picture every 30 seconds and has just five seconds to move to the next spot on the sky. So the telescope is short and squat to keep it from wobbling. Two of its mirrors are combined into one piece of glass to save space and to keep them aligned. Its camera is the largest digital camera ever built and it's squeezed inside a hole in the third mirror. That survey is its main gig, taking up about 90% of the observing time. The other 10% is reserved for responding to things quickly, like responding to gravitational wave alerts or to supernovas. The observing schedule is so complex that astronomers use special software to run the whole thing autonomously. Rubin's location is part of the magic, high, dry, and far away from city lights. When I visited in May, the air was so dry it parched my throat, and the view crystal clear for miles. Rubin's going to capture the universe in every dimension. Slow cosmic processes like galaxy formation and the expansion of space, and fast ones like exploding stars or visiting interstellar comets. It will create a movie of how the solar system, our galaxy, and the universe change over time. The observatory also pushes its data online almost in real time for anyone in the world to access and use for research. Even you! Music